Uh, well, I think it's it's in a sort of a, a, a series of, uh, my, of of pictures from the comedy, the entertainment, and uh, even even a couple prior to that of mine that have sort of dealt with uh, that are kind of anti-utopian that deal with sort of this this American impulse of, to to believe in boundless uh, you know uh, opportunities, unlimited resources, unlimited potential, things that are, that seem you know uh, rosy. Uh, on the outside, but ultimately for privileged societies can be become a real cancer. And, you know, if you're not dealing with any of the material or the limitations of the world, you're ignoring it. You're very vulnerable, not to mention the fact that you just destroy the room and, and the earth, you know. So in the, in this film, I mean, it looks at, at, at three, uh, a, a, fa a father and, and two, two other father figures and, and, a, and a young man trying to to sort of almost, you know, almost in, 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 the, in the stereotypes of the coming of age saga, you know, of, of male sexual maturity, you know, in, in cinema. We watch him sort of move through these, these kind of collapsing male figures in the mid-century. So that's the short, uh, that's the short uh, synopsis. Right. Yeah, I think it came to me, I mean, several years ago because Rick sent it to me not too long after we finished working on a movie called Entertainment. And that was the first time I worked with Rick, and I had I had a blast, loved working with him, and wanted to do something else with him. And he sent me this. Um, then it was, and, and I think entertainment was a little bit the same, but then it was a, you know, it was a vague, not vague, but it was a abstract more of a treatment, more of a treatment, just a, you know, an outline of the movie with, you know, next to no dialogue. Um, you know, maybe there was description about what they were talking about in the scene to, to give you some context. But uh, yeah, and then I think we just, you know, it was trying to be, we were trying to get it made for a few years. And um, I knew that there was something uh, about the movie that, I mean, it was very, it's very, um, it's very different, it's very unique. And uh, I think it's, it's hard to attain what the movie is about or to consolidate one idea um, because I think it's about a lot of different ideas and some of those Rick just mentioned but you know I think all the stuff that really interested me was um, the identity that we have with certain you know male and female roles uh, whether it be in family or just in a, you know social situation you know that we I, I come from Texas in a really small town in Texas so the idea of a man is you know a, a very sculpted uh, kind of thing and, and I think this this movie really puts a question mark on those on those roles and, and also sexuality and um, and I you know something that was really interesting to me and, and I think this movie defies you know convention in a lot of ways and uh, makes you think about it critically and, and in a lot of ways it's very inaccessible mm -hmm. um, intentionally to to give you something to wrestle with. I read it was only 75 pages, I think, when I read the first document, and um, but realized, you know, it appealed to me. It obviously was smart, um, personal, um, had subterranean substance that I was wildly curious and appetized about and appetized by. Um, uh, you know, and then we, then I saw his other two movies, and was um, you know really infatuated, and uh, uh, and then we met, and uh, you know um, uh, he's very brilliant, and um, uh, I, I I loved it. It comes from the the character I play comes from this real character, it's Walter Freeman, who had lobotomized President Kennedy's sister and introduced lobotomy to, in uh, America and. Uh, so it's, it's, you, one can read about him and uh, see documentaries, uh, but it's this poetical kind of exploration of the shadow American character um, um, uh, that interested me terrifically too. I mean, there's you know what, with the, the available research into the, the procedure and uh, even down to Friedman's book on, on psychosurgery and you know I mean there's uh, there's 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 he 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 had shot. Uh, uh, I think it's a 16 millimeter black and white film of the procedures. I mean, there's a lot of available, you know, uh, uh, information on it on it now. But I think what I mean, uh, we we've all talked about this. I mean, there's uh, the the sort of uh, the impetus behind that kind of individual, mm -hmm. and particularly in a sort of a, a blind kind of 
you know, uh, lunging American sense, you know, like there's a sort of Western expansion into the into the unknown, you know, that is so romanticized, but that uh, inevitably has casualties to it, you know, human and social. And we're really seeing that now in, in, in our country. I mean, it's, uh, uh, you know, what are the ramifications? And, you know, that's not a question that's asked much anymore. You know, it's sort of like, well, it's, you know, it's we, we you know, it's our economy. We, you know, it, it doesn't like, you know, the it's not all laid out and there isn't sort of a kind of critical sort of like skepticism about anything. It just is that narrative of the headlong, you know, utopian dream, you know. Thank you.